ho, ho, the mistletoe, kiss her one for me. Uh, it, it's Christmas, so I'm just singing some Christmas songs here on High Five. High Five. High Five. High Five. High Five. High five. <laughs> so what is Christmas all about? Frosty the Snowman. Uh, no, we're here to talk today about the true and real meaning of Christmas. Not that we're against Frosty the Snowman. No. Or Ralphie or Scrooge. All these things have been good artistic ways fun. of having fun during this season. Absolutely. But what we're here to talk about today is the real story behind Christmas. The one that's so beautiful that God himself came as an innocent baby and stayed here on earth until it was time for him to give his life for mankind. That's the true story of Christmas. And it is so beautiful and so much more far reaching than we could even hope for. Yes, if we'd understand, when the angels appeared, they said, unto you a child is given. They said, we bring you good news of great joy. I mean, could you imagine in the mind of God Almighty and the spirit of God Almighty to think I'm going to become just like them. I'm going to be born of a woman being me. I'm going to be just like them, the son of man. And I am going to identify in every way and give him victory back to them that was taken from Adam. This is the Christmas story. Unto us, a child is born, a savior is given. You know, God, God selected a people. Um, he selected a, a nation, a, a group of people uh, as unto his own. So uh, with the, really the sole purpose for this Messiah to come out of, yes. um, uh, you know, to have a lineage, to have a, to, to have a series of stories and, and, and everything to trace uh, to his birth. But when he, but when he came, it was the initiation. It was the, the in the flesh initiation of a plan that he had had all along. Yes. And I think Christmas uh, the reason people feel so good about Christmas and the reason people have, have, have created all these stories and all these uh, uh, um, object lessons and moral lessons about Christmas and everything, the, the reason why is because when he came, it was the absolute manifestation of an ancient desire of God yes. to create a people that he knew would fall that he knew would need redemption, and that he knew he would have to take that job upon himself, and he did. Yes, yes. You know, I was listening to his Christmas carols because you can drive and they play all Christmas oh, carols, yeah. and it's kind of fun to do. And I listened to that song that said, Mary, did you know? And there was a line in there that really caught my attention. It said, when you kissed your baby's face, did you know you were kissing the face of God? Yeah, and that really touched my heart because... That's why Jesus came, so he could be touched and felt and realized by the people on earth who so desperately needed to know how real he was and how much he cared. That's the true story of Christmas. Mankind was in trouble, and Jesus didn't leave. He left behind his God part right. to take up humanity in himself so that he could reach everyone on earth so that he could technically pay the exact penalty that mankind had uh, ha had been sentenced to and that is death yes you know the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life and it that's is. for all of us that he's the one that initiated that he came so that he could fulfill every single part of the sentence that was against us. Yes, and here's the thing. I know it's almost Christmas here, and so we're running around getting as many gifts yes. as we can for people. Oh, did I forget her? Did I forget him? Yeah. But I'm telling you, our concentration, really, no matter what we're doing gift-wise, needs to be on the gift that was given to us. This is a gift of salvation. This is a gift that came in man form. Yes. And we are celebrating the gift of Emmanuel. God is with us. Yes. He is with us when he came. He is with us now. And he's with you. It, You're not alone. It's like the traditions have our attention. But Jesus should have our worship That's during good. this time. That's and exactly he right. is the gift that is still giving. That's right. His giving did not stop after Christmas He's Day. So kind. People are arguing, oh, was he born in December? Was he born in the fall? I don't really care. 
I just am so glad he came. Yes. Any day's a good day to recognize his coming. Well, here's Absolutely. the thing. I didn't know what my birth date was. My birth certificate said one thing. My parents said another thing. And so who cares? As long as we find a day to celebrate it. So I found three days to celebrate it. And if you miss my birthday, you know how to get a hold of us. Right. God bless you. High five. High Merry five. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry High Christmas. Five. High five. Thank you, Jesus.